Let's take a look how you can make this pattern in a more unusual way here in Illustrator. And I'm going to go here to swap it. So the fill is going to be black and I'm going to click on the stroke, click on the none and click on the fill. So it's going to be on the top. Now let's go and select the rectangle right here. And I'm going to press shift plus alt, create a rectangle. Let's go here to the circles, drag it to make it rounded. And I'm going to go here to the center circle and press and hold alt, click on it. So it's going to change its profile. So now as you can see, we created a sparkle. I'm going to drag it down, press and hold shift, drag it upwards to create a duplicate. And I'm going to press and hold shift plus alt to scale it down. Now let's go and select both. Let's go to object. Let's go to blend and select make. And this way it's going to blend it. Now if you want to change up the size, for example, on this one, I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to click on it again to select and press and hold shift plus alt. And this way you can scale it. And I'm going to bring this guy here, press and hold alt and drag it on the right. Also press and hold shift to isolate. And then we're going to need to blend these two together. I'm going to select both. Let's go to object. Let's go to blend and select make. So as you can see, it's going to create this letter N, which is not good. So I'm going to press control Z. Let's go back to the object, a blend. And this time I'm going to go and select the expand. So now it's going to expand it. Let's go back to object, blend, and now I can select make. Now it looks something like this. I'm going to go here to the blend tool, double click on it. And here I'm going to go and select the specified steps. Here we can increase the number of the copies, but I think I'm going to go with like four, click OK. And of course, not but least, we're going to need to duplicate this. So let's go here to the fact, distort and transform and select transform. And here we're going to go to the copies. I'm going to increase it to one and I'm going to go to move horizontal and I'm going to go and move it somewhere in the middle and I'm going to go to the vertical, move it downwards until it's going to hit the spot. I think this is pretty good. I'm going to click OK. I also can go and select the rectangle and I'm going to go and select these guys and I can go and select both of the shapes, a right click and let's go and select make clipping mask. So now we got a clean and clever pattern. So this is how I make this strange pattern here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.